remember watching the qualifiers. Um, the first camp that they'd had in like two years was, I want to say May. And at that point I was still pregnant. So there was no way I could have joined them then. Um, so in my head, I was just so um, just excited for them to even make it into the qualifiers once they did the Caribbean qualifiers and won. Um, and then to see them going to PKs, I remember watching the game and talking to my mom. We were like screaming on the phone because we were so excited um, that they qualified because I knew um, at that point there would be more camps and more opportunities and more you know, motivation for me to get back after having my son to have a chance at um, representing uh, Jamaica. So when I found out that I had the chance, it was like honestly a dream come true. One, for them to qualify and be the first Caribbean team ever to do so but to also have an opportunity to play after having my son, it was just, it was so exciting. Oh, it was the biggest push of all time. I was like, not only do I have to get back and form for club, but to play on the highest stage uh, and have an opportunity to do so. I couldn't go into my first camp. I remember talking to Coach Hugh um, and him telling me about the camp and, and the date. He was like, okay, well, are you gonna be ready then? Because we don't have time for you to be getting back into shape. And I'm like, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be ready. Uh, so it was, it was definitely more motivation. Um, and it was also cool to, to get into a camp before the preseason team as well. Because then I had already had a few, you know, touches on the ball, a few games under my belt. And of course there was fitness that I still needed to build on. And going from training twice a day, preparing for the World Cup, or preparing for camp, then going into preseason training twice a day. It was all good uh, to build fitness. So um, it's been it's been awesome. Definitely extra motivation, and it's been cool after training to see like man, my son's here. He's able to you know experience this even though he won't remember it. It's a it's a dream come true. I mean. Jamaica is my roots. My grandmother's there. My grandfather, who, who's passed along now, um, he was always just bragging on me playing soccer and how I was the most athletic of, of his grandchildren. And um, I wish you were here to kind of to, to be a part of this as well. But I know that he's he's smiling down, and happy. He's happy and like this boy right here sometimes. <laughs> um, but it, it's it's a huge honor. Anytime you can represent. You know, a country that has so much of your heritage and and so much of your roots. Anytime you can do that, you want to put your best foot forward. Being back with the spirit, especially um, with the, the coaches and the way that they run the training sessions, I feel like it's been really helpful um, when it comes to preparing for first touches and things like that that I couldn't necessarily do on my own going into my first camp with Jamaica. It's been cool to have my teammates around. It's been awesome to have a game like environment and training and the competitiveness to really help prepare me for, for camp. So I'm extremely fortunate for this, this whole setup here with the spirit from being able to find a nanny, which brings me peace of mind when I'm out on the pitch to um, the, the training style and the training time that we have out there. It's been awesome. I think I'm looking forward to the opening ceremonies. I hear that that's you know, something to remember. I'm excited for my family to be there. I'm excited that it's the first time I'm playing on a big stage. There's countless things. I mean, playing against Brazil and Australia and just quality opponents in, in the group stage, it's, it's exciting.